I was going to make the joke about me being the best rapper, obviously, because it's like a standard move, in it, basically? Um, but I don't know if I can now, after listening to this, because it's like so good. It's the storytelling, though, it's the thing. Like, are I you, think... What are you talking about now? Your, your this stuff. new album? Well, just in general, like, even from way back then, but especially on this new album, like, um, the storytelling is awesome. Like, like I, th- I would say, out, out of at least the North East, the best, for sure for the storytelling side of it. It's something that I can't do anywhere near as good as that, I don't think, kind of thing. Right. But, you know, I'm doing fucking all sorts of other shit as well. So that's my excuse. If I, if I was doing it, I would be the best, obviously. Yeah. But, no. That's that's amazing to hear that. But um, usually I get told that I need to I need to be better at telling me stories. Really? You need to be better at... You used to be really good at telling stories and now you don't do it anymore and... You need to See, so maybe like subliminally, maybe I've done that because okay. because I still I've took that to heart and I still don't feel like when I analyze my lyrics, I'm like, oh, you started off good and then you just go all the fucking nah, shit. At I, the end. I don't think that matters though because I had a guy do this to me also with tattooing. Mm-hmm. Um, it was kind of like I loved tattooing, right? And I, I lost the love for it. And when I loved it the most, I was doing like a piece, I was doing a piece maybe this big. Mm-hmm. Every day, a piece that I could get finished, I could take a photo and I could go, look what I just did, everyone, mm-hmm. and share it with people and they'd like it and that, like, and you know, appreciate it. Well, mm-hmm. I don't care about the clicks, but they, they like it and share, like, their thoughts or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, you I mean, like, they part. actually like it, not like... They, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I love that about it. And it's like I was doing decent work and I was getting, like, recognised for it. And then this one guy, it was a customer of mine, tattooed him a few times... On, I saw him talking on, on something and he goes like, yeah, he's a good artist, but he, just, he, can't do any, he doesn't do anything big, like any large scale pieces. About and, you? Yeah. And I'm like, really? Challenge accepted? Well, I'm kind of like... Or just not. Well, yeah. no, at first I'm like... You do even smaller. Why, why should I do big pieces? Like, what, fucking, there's a guy over there doing big pieces. Why should I do big pieces? Uh-huh. So I'm like, no, nah, that guy's a dick. But then it's slowly But then I'm like, nah, maybe he's right though. Can yeah. I do big pieces? What would I do if I did big pieces? Then I did like a few big pieces. And there was one guy came in the studio, Chris, and he's got like a big skull like on his chest. Mm-hmm. He just said, I want something evil. I want you to do your own thing. And I'm like, okay, mate, I'm fucking up for this. Let me just do. And I just drew it all on. And that was the one that like went viral. I got like, I think there was 50,000 shares on something. Like, again, I'm like, not that arse about the, the numbers. Is this but over the his skull? You did the skull? Yeah, it's like a massive skull, like right. all over his torso. There's like an eye up here. Like there was something already on this side, but I did this gnarly skull with like all spikes coming off it and shit. And like loads of detail. But he was willing to spend the money. He was coming for three days in a row, mm-hmm. like two weeks apart every time, just spending all of his money on tattoos because he's mental. Um, cool mm-hmm. as fuck though, cool guy. I like tattoos, but that's what puts me off because I, I go, oh, yes, I know what I want. I know what I want. And I go, I'll have that, please. And they go, that'll be money. And I go, yeah. oh, sh- <laughs> shit. I go, I'm just going to go to the cash point and then I just go home. Yeah. <laughs> go, oh, in hell, I keep forgetting. But anyway, they cost a lot of money. They go. do, they do. But he was willing to spend that. Um, so I did this thing and, and it did go like big. And it's like... Um, then it's almost like I've proved the point, yeah, I can do big pieces. But where did it leave me, right, is the thing. It left me in this, like, in this place where it's like people are coming for this kind of stuff and then I'm doing, like, big pieces all the time and I'm kind of like, ah, everything is always unfinished. I'm always never finished. And it's that, like, that getting to be, yes, at the end of the day, like, excited yeah. about the thing I finished, like, that stopped. So it's kind of like, it starts becoming work all of a sudden. And then now mm. I'm trapped in this thing where I'm doing work every day. Mm-hmm. And I'm always f- doing sleeves and everyone wants a sleeve. Everyone wants this big thing. And I'm the fucking big thing guy now because I did a big oh, thing. Oh, right. So you become the thing that you Yeah, and I'm just hate. like, it. Like I, I fell out of love with it eventually. And I'm just like, fuck this, man. What am I doing wrong? And I took like some time to realize like, what was it? What were the things I didn't like about it? And that was one of the things, having to take on these massive things. I wanted to finish tattoos and make stickers and like put them on yeah and it's like listening to other people talk about it it became like it's like this is a rule that i should do now and it's like Mm. i want to be happy so i've had to like fuck that off and try and find out what i want to do again Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah what were we talking about though because i just took that on like a random tangent didn't i kind of what what do you want to do then 
Well, I like doing, I do like doing some of that dark evil stuff, but I really like doing cartoony things. Like yeah. My own drawings, maybe some of it from like, I don't know, just Rick and Morty or <laughs> Rick and Morty bits or something like that. Anything like that, little bits that I can get finished and look at yeah. and post and like share it with people, like that kind of thing. So it's kind of the storytelling thing. It's like, oh, when the, when the person says the thing, you get it in your head and like run with their words. It's like they've affected your ego essentially and give you one about it. Mm-hmm. And then it's like you're running with their words and it uh, can be helpful. Yeah. But ultimately you have to do what's fun in it. So that's what I'm saying. It's yeah, like, yeah. have the story bit, but if it drops that. off, who cares? Because them, st- them older songs like that, where, they have, where they're a bit of nonsense or whatever, and all the Eminem stuff, I love that shit. Mm-hmm. I love that it makes me listen and giggle, go, hee hee, did you just yeah, hear that? Yeah. Like, and it's like, a do- you don't even need to hear the rest of the track for it. Yeah, well, you've got to realise, like, no matter what you think, when, you're, when I'm, I'm on my own, I'm like, this is, this is, sounds like this, and this is going to be received like this. You haven't got that kind of control. You can't, you know... Um, I can't remember what you said. Oh yeah, what you said recently about uh, Eminem. Like it, it, too, it was like ten years later. You smoked weed and you heard it totally differently. That's like I'm aware of that now. But at first, I used to be like, "This is like, like now I don't really care about playing me music to people." When I first started, I had I was needed people not only to sort of um, give me validation, but tell me exactly what I <laughs> needed to hear. <laughs> so not just like, "Oh yeah, that's good." I'm like. No, but do you know why it's good? Like, do you understand the yeah, thing yeah. and what I do then? Because you put so much things in And I don't, I don't like, give a yeah, shit yeah, now. Exactly. But because now you realise it happens... It, it, that, that's, it happens anyway, Once it goes it? out into the public, it splits off into a million different people and a million different sort of ways of receiving it. Because some, sometimes people will go... People have misquoted me lyrics and I haven't corrected them because what they've said sometimes... Not better, but just, diff, just weird. Yeah. They go, I love but, it when you say this. And I go... That's not what that's about. Yeah. And I go, yeah, cheers. But they're enjoying think, you know it anyway. They, they love yeah. it. Yeah. Whereas when I was younger, I would have been like, no, 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 you've, mis- yeah, yeah. you've misjudged that. That's yeah. the point of art, though, isn't it, right? The, the point of any art is to, like, you're giving something to a viewer and letting them do whatever they want with it, really. Mm-hmm. They can enjoy it in whatever way they want. If they mm-hmm. have to take the it wrong, you know, yeah. there's lots of paintings. People will talk about, like, oh, the, the artist meant this, and they didn't, but, like, yeah. whatever. If it makes you feel good for thinking nothing, definitely. Do it. There's got to be loads and loads. I'm trying to think now, but there's loads of lyrics, class songs, and uh, you get older, and it's just a certain time you're washing the dishes or whatever, and you go, oh, is that what he's saying? Is that what that song's about? Yeah. And you're like, what? That's <laughs> mental. But now I'm so old, I can be either told that or have the epiphany and then still go back to the old way of hearing it. Like, yeah. um... So one of the last is this is Adam Adam told us this. One of the young girls that we used to teach came in and was doing something to do with Fresh Prince. And she went, Oh yeah, shooting some meatballs outside of the school. And he went, Meatballs? She went, Yeah, it's shooting some meatballs outside the school. And he went, It's it's shooting some B ball. And I was like, I was like, no nah, man, meatballs is much better. And like now in my head, I'm like shooting some meat. I can't not hear it. I'm like, it's meatballs now. I honestly thought it was meatballs there. I don't know what I've actually heard. <laughs> I know, saw your face go, yeah, meatballs, right? Get to the point. I don't know if it, I thought it was meatballs, but <laughs> some... it, it is now for sure. Exactly. <laughs> so that's yeah. So yes, the storyteller man, and it's like that's what I liked about it, man. 